Hello everyone, I'm Tim from Tim's PC and in this video I'm going to show you how to update your graphics drivers with GeForce Experience. So let me just share my screen with you. So the first thing you want to do is open up your internet browser and search for GeForce Experience. The first link at the top there and you can select download now. Once you've downloaded the file, open it up and go through the installation. Once GeForce Experience is installed, you will see it in this bottom right hand system tray. And so if we right click on it, we can see Nvidia Control Panel and Nvidia GeForce Experience. So we're gonna click on GeForce Experience and it's going to open up like this. If it's your first time using this application, you'll have to make an account and sign in. Once you've signed in, click on Drivers. Once you've clicked on Drivers, it should tell you if there is a new driver to be updated. Alternatively, you can click on Check for Updates. So we're going to select Download Now. And a graphics card driver updates usually about 700 megabytes. So depending on your internet connection, it'll take between one minute and 10 minutes to download. Another thing I'll show you is, um, oh, me a bit smaller there again. So you can also select up here, you can select game ready driver or studio driver. So if you're not so much a gamer and you do a lot of, um, you do a lot of video and photo editing, and that's the main reason why you use your computer, you might want to select studio driver. Um, and if you're a gamer, obviously the game ready driver is ideal for your needs. So it's just that done downloading there. And so we can just click on Express Installation now. And it won't take it too long to install. And there's our graphics card driver installing. The installer will be pretty much done now. And there we go. We have updated to version 465.89, released on the third, sorry, the 30th of the third, 2021. Stupid American format dates. And that's pretty much it. So obviously GeForce Experience will show all of your games that you have installed on the computer and you can optimize them from here. Um, I generally don't optimize my games with GeForce Experience, I prefer to manually set the settings for my games. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.